Hi guys, okay, a bit of a different video for you today. Uh, come across a budgie forum the other day and on there was some plans to make a winnower um, for cleaning up your seat. Something I'd not even heard of before. Uh, had a look at the video the guy had made and followed the steps, thought it was pretty good. So I decided to have a little go uh, myself and see how we can uh, do, how it will fare cleaning up our seed. So, fairly simple, few bits, a uh, bit of plastic tubing, waste pipe and a few fittings, so I'll show you what they are. So, here we go, so this is what we've picked up today. Okay, so we've got um, a funnel set, that's gonna, what we're going to feed the, uh, the seed in with. I've got uh, a tea piece and uh, a short coupling. And then I've got a couple of lengths of pipe, which I actually had in the shed anyway okay so these three items here from tool station today came to the princely sum of a three pound and 94 pence okay so this uh, is all going to cost me less than a fiver to put together so we'll have a little go i'll uh, show you a few steps on how we're doing it the sizes uh, and then we'll see if it works okay catch you soon guys Okay guys, so uh, a simple little diagram here of what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, so I've marked up the pipe now, so I've got a 13 centimetre section, a 19 centimetre section, and a 47 centimetre section. Uh, so we'll uh, get the saw out, cut them up, and uh, just like I say, little diagram there of how they're all going to fit together. Fairly straightforward, uh, so we'll get the saw out. Now back to you in a moment. Okay, so when I've cut each section of pipe, it always leaves those little burrs on. So I just take a Stanley knife, just tidy it up a little bit, just so it pushes together a little bit easier. Uh, doesn't damage any of the seals, not that it would really make any difference in this case because there's no uh, water going through it. But I just like to tidy up a little bit where I've used the saw just to cut through and uh, take off all these little pieces of plastic burring around the end of the pipes and that should make them nice and easy just to push together inside the fittings. So we've uh, cut up uh, the sections that we needed um, so what we've got is we've got the 13 centimeter section there uh, then we've got the T piece bending downwards 47 centimetre section there, 19 centimetre section here, that is going to go into there uh, with that on the end of it. But what we need to do now is uh, drill a series of holes in here, and that's going to be adjusted so we can adjust the flow, air flow through. And in fact, what I do have is I've managed to find also another section of pipe. Um, so this section that I'm using here, that is a 32 mil waste pipe that fits our and we even use that is that that fits our hoover perfectly our hoover pipe this 40 mil section here will actually i'm going to cut a small section off there that will then fit over this section and i'll be able to slide that to cover up some of the holes and adjust the the airflow uh, so we'll see how that that works uh, so i'm just going to drill a series of holes in here now um, probably going to be around about eight to ten mil something like that uh, might even do a few uh, of a uh, different size um, just to give us some airflow it's going to be a case of uh, um, uh, suck it and see if you uh, pardon the pun to see how it works best of all but then with this uh, little bit of section of this pipe uh, and also the uh, the adjustment on the hoover hopefully we'll just be able to find the right sweet spot that will suck up the uh, the used husk uh, and allow the uh, the unused seed to fall down the bottom which is what uh, hopefully it will all do so uh, yeah we'll just stick some holes in this and we'll be back again So guys, okay, uh, this is the 19mm uh, piece that we've put some holes into here. Uh, so what I've done is I've got three holes here at 10mm and three holes here at 8mm, just to give a little bit of variation. Um, it is going to be a little bit of trial and error. Now if we've got too many holes in here, um, I have cut this piece, uh, he says, oh there we go, I've cut this little piece from the bigger pipe, that can slide over. 
Uh, not completely airtight, uh, but it will help restrict flow and uh, adjust it slightly. Uh, we can always cover these holes over with a bit of tape if necessary. Uh, and if they're not quite big enough, uh, these uh, holes here I can drill out a little bit further. Space them about 20mm apart. Uh, nice and uh, evenly uh, and the marks I've got here I'll put these marks on just to make sure that that's where the fittings are going to go so I knew that I wasn't going to uh, be putting holes where the fittings are going to be covering up uh, and then again that's uh, just a little bit of space there that that little bit can go on so we'll put it all together uh, see how it looks uh, and then hopefully it'll be time to give it a go okay so about uh, what 30 minutes of my time this morning uh, plus a Little, probably a similar amount to go and get the few bits and pieces that I needed okay so uh, this is what we've done okay a little bit of a, a winner we'll give it a try I'll put it on this backboard um, that will get screwed to the wall so we can adjust the height what we need okay so the um, pops into the top there the funnel pops into the top feed the seed slowly through there okay the river will come into this end here we can use this a little bit to adjust hopefully that will give us a little bit of adjustment like I say we can always cover over with some, some tape if necessary uh, the good stuff should fall out of the bottom there so we'll have a little bu bucket to go underneath there and uh, yeah that's oh, give it a go that's cost me um, it's cost me less than four quid to put that together um, so we're going to go and clean the bucket out now take it up the shed uh, just the height and uh, give it a go so let's see what the results bring okay guys so what we've done is just temporarily uh, brought this uh, device I've made into the kitchen to have a little go we've already had a little go already so as you can see we've, all I've done is attach the hoover uh, to the end there okay we've got the funnel in the top ready to uh, Put it in, feed in, and as you can see, we've all been having a go already. So, we're going to show you this in action and uh, see just how well it works. So, uh, here we go. Turn the hoover on. Okay, so uh, that looks pretty successful. Let's have a little look and see what we've got here. And uh, as you can see, that looks pretty clean seed to me. Uh, not many husks at all. Um, so yeah, so from, from there, um, that looks a, a, a success story. So what we'll do now is we'll, uh, now we know it works, we'll take it up into the aviary, put it on the wall somewhere in the aviary where it will sit very happily, uh, and then that will give us um, something to clean our seed up. Catch you later guys.